so you know pretty much what we're going to end up talking about is y'all have a new album called Muerte coming uh-huh. out uh, on the 23rd uh, uh-huh. it's pretty exciting stuff it's been a couple of years yeah yeah it's, it's been a while <laughs> yeah, it feels good yeah how was the writing process this time around as opposed to previous albums uh, well it uh, it worked out kind of different just because uh, you know we started out as just kind of the three of us the bass player the drummer and I just jamming um, ideas but it wasn't necessarily for Willhaven it was for another maybe kind of project we were working on yeah um, and then we did that for a while, for a while. It was about six months that so we were writing stuff to that and just recording ideas. Not really a, it was not really a band or anything. It was just kind of just ideas and, and whatever. Uh, but it was more kind of atmospheric stuff. Um, wasn't so riffy or anything like that. It was more kind of Pink Floydish stuff. But um, and then when Will Avon started convening to get to write a new record, um, we actually used a lot of that stuff that we had jammed for the last six months and kind of put it in a Will Avon's kind of in a Will Avon form. So. Um, it was kind of cool. It's like we didn't when we started writing. It wasn't Willhaven in mind, but it ended up being in Willhaven, which was kind of ironic. But it was, it was fun. <laughs> yeah. So you know, coming in when y'all were doing that, you know, just practicing. It seems like pretty much just having fun and having a good time. Do you feel that that lent something to the how the songs came out? Yeah, I mean, we always have fun. We jam. You know, we, we call it you know our little jam session, and uh, we have a name for it. It's kind of inside joke, but. Um, <laughs> But yeah, we just get together, we have a good time, we just, you know, jam around, like, luckily this band loves all kind of different music, you know, um, we're not just metalheads, we're not, any, we're, I mean, I would say probably metal is probably the least on our playlist when we listen to music, so, yeah. Um, when we get together, we just play the craziest stuff you can think of, it's all, it's like, you know, it'll be jazzy, it'll be Pink Floyd, it'll be, you know, sound like Queens and Radiohead, it's all over the board, so it's like, we just have fun, just jamming, whatever, and uh, and we record it, it's, you know, it's down the road. It might be interesting, you know, for some project that we might do together. Um, so we just have a good time jamming, and then luckily this time a lot of that stuff we had done was um, good enough to incorporate into maybe some Willhaven songs. So um, you know, when you're done time, you don't think about it. You're just like, oh, we're just recording ideas. You know, whatever happens, happens with it. But a lot of it actually ended up being on the Willhaven record. So <laughs> as, yeah. fun, as fun as it was, it was kind of cool that it ended up working out that way. Yeah. And it's nice that, you know, for for Will Heaven specifically, y'all don't really fit in one set category. Mm-hmm. You know, you're, you're kind of have elements, like you mentioned, of all different types of styles. And, I mean, which y'all formulate into your own style, which when you hear Will Heaven, you, you recognize it. Yeah, I think that's just us having such a weird, wide variety of stuff. Like, we didn't grow up, like, metal to me what came into my life fairly early but then i got out of it for a long time like i was in more like hip-hop and rap and so metal kind of took a back seat for a while and then i started getting back into it you know when i started like uh, finding all these kind of straight edge hardcore bands i started to get back into it so you know for me metal wasn't is wasn't a huge part of my life so when i started wave and even though i love i love being a heavy band because i wanted to prove a point or i wanted to get my emotion across yeah and for me heavy music is the easiest way to do that because when you see a heavy band you feel it you know there's no you can't run for the door it's like it's in your face the whole time so right. for me that was that was one element that i really wanted just to blow people's heads back you know like okay you know there's no escaping us but yeah. at the same time i wanted to put something in there that was not your normal metal band because i've seen metal bands and i get kind of bored after a while you know like yeah it's, so for me, it's like I, I needed some kind of texture, something in there to keep people's interest. Um, you know, like, and, and for me too, it's like I'll get bored just playing the same riff all the time. I need something that's gonna challenge me a little bit. But you know, for me, I'm still a growing musician. Like when I started Wellhaven, that was the first time I ever played guitar in my life. So I mean, I'm I was, I'm still learning. So back when I started writing songs way back in 1995, you know, I had no idea what I was doing. Yeah. <laughs> but I had a vi- I had a vision in my head, but I didn't know what it was how it was going to happen you know so forever it took me forever to try to incorporate the two but on the new record i feel like i've started to kind of incorporate the two a little more than than i've always have and this is kind of where i wanted the band to be initially so it's just taking a long time but yeah but we're finally getting there though oh that's good to hear now with the title uh muerte is there any specific meaning behind that why y'all chose that uh well initially when we went to go start writing the new william record we kind of figured this would be our last one um you know we've been a band for 20 almost 25 years so 
for us, it's like, you know, we barely scrape by playing in a band. Like, we actually, I, I, it cost me a lot of money every month just to be in this band between the practice space and, you know, get by new equipment, stuff like that. It, it's, it's, it's not a pretty, you know, it's a pretty penny for being in this band. So right. for us, it's like, can we keep it going? Do we want to keep it going? You know, so, um, so initially when we start writing this record, like, well, let's do one more. You know, like, I don't think our last EP kind of lived up to our expectations. So I was like, let's just go and push the envelope and, and do something really cool. So, um, so with that in mind, we thought we were just called album death, you know, yeah. basically the death of Wilhaven. Um, of course we just can't be that blatant. So we're like, well, let's just call it death in Spanish morte, you know, right. we've always used, we've always used different languages in, in our songs and album titles. So it just fit. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's where it stemmed from. It's just basically, you know, the end of Wilhaven. Um, and it just, it stuck after that, and, you know, we were totally happy with it. Yeah, and that seems to be a kind of a concern these days with, with a lot of bands to where it is hard to be a successful musician or successful band. I mean, you have to have other sources of income other than just the band. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much impossible, you know. I mean, we kind of, you know, back when we started this band, it was it was, it was was still a thing that we could probably maybe make i mean we're not mainstream band at all but there was still an outlet for bands like us to maybe get signed and get a little help you know yeah Um, we never really got that we got signed you know to a few labels but they weren't you know they weren't really helping us out quite a bit they were just kind of helping us you know record records get on the road a little bit but they weren't paying bills or anything so for us we've always been just scraping by the bottom of the barrel you know but we love playing music so i mean it's one of those things like when people say how agents and, and everybody rips everybody off, these bands off, like, well, yeah, because they know that music's in our blood. They don't, they know we're not going anywhere. So, of course, they're going to rip us off, you know? It's right. like, once you play music, you can't stop. And these people know that and they're going to take full advantage of it. So, you know, we're just a victim of that. Like, we're like, oh, well, it's, I know we're losing money, but screw it. We love it. You know, like, well, all right, we'll pay our booking agent 50% of our guarantees, you know, whatever. Just, we want to play it, you know? Right. So, that's just how it is. So yeah, it's it's harder and harder. And nowadays, like now we're in our mid forties, you know, and and, and uh, you know we want to retire one day and, and be able to save some money up. So being in a band basically a burden for us right now. But right. but at the same time, like what I said before, we love playing music. So it's like it's in our blood. It's like it's hard to walk away from it. So oh, yeah, of course, it's yeah. it's it's one of those things that you know there's really no substitute. I mean, even if you try different things. When you find your niche or your your purpose, you, you can't just walk away from it. Yeah, I mean it's it's it's. I mean basically it's a drug, you know. It's like it's there's nothing higher than creating music or being on stage in front of people or, you know, it's 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 a feeling you can't get really anywhere else, you know. Right. And great, our singer's left a few times because you know he's he really needs up any of us. He really needs you know he can't be spending money on the band and stuff. He has a family and. Yeah. and a job and a house and it's like for him it's it's a real burden so he's blocked away a few times from it just because he can't afford it anymore but but he always comes back you know like yeah. he's come back twice now and he's like i was like well what's up he's like i just miss it man i just miss it and i was like i get it you know so yeah yeah it's just one of those things and, and musicians, musicians get totally taken advantage of because of that it's like a drug you know and they just keep feeding us to it feeding it to us but, yeah you know i really can't see myself even if Wilhaven breaks up, I'm still probably going to figure some way to play music or something, do it somehow. So. <laughs> yeah, well, that's good to know. So uh, yeah. on this current release that you have coming out, was there a specific maybe favorite song so far that that you know that you're just going to enjoy the hell out of it playing live? You know, it's funny. This is the first record that I've actually... I like our records, but this is the first one I've actually really loved. You know, mm-hmm. um all the way through I, I, we've had records in the past I mean, that's cool but i was always worried about the response of it you know and but this one i when i was done with it i was like i don't care if anybody likes it. i absolutely love it you know yeah. and I, and we play them at practice and i love playing them every time at practice but actually every practice really say man these are so fun to play yeah and it's funny because we'll, we'll put it up against our old stuff and our old stuff just sounds just so i don't want to say lame but it just seems so boring compared to the new stuff so we love playing the new stuff, I and mean, I have a blast playing every song on the record. There's not one song like cringe and it like you know we play it because we we at practice we try to play the whole record all the way through uh, yeah. every practice. So there isn't one song like wow oh, this song's coming up like I'm like I see it on the set. I'm like all right that's gonna be fun to play you know. So yeah yeah no I, I love every song on the record. There's a few standout I wouldn't say standout songs but standout parts on the record that I absolutely love you know that just blow me away every time I hear it or that I play it. So. Um, yeah, but I love the whole thing, personally. I mean, I'm completely happy with it. Yeah. So I, right now you do have two singles out. The first one was El Sol with uh, Stephen mm-hmm. Carpenter. How, how did that one come about? Uh, 
uh, yeah, it's been been friends with the Deftones guys for ever. You know, way before Will Haven even started. So, yeah. you know, I just grew up with Stefan, and when I like I said, when I started Will Haven, that's when I first started playing guitar. Um, and before that, I played drums, but I would, you know, I was always around the Deftones and stuff, and and I always watched Stefan, you know, play and locally and stuff, and he, you know, and his, he'd keep his equipment in my house sometimes. I just stare at it and just like, like you know, like oh my god, I want to buy this stuff. <laughs> like, I want a guitar equipment just like that, you right. know. <laughs> And he'd be teasing me all the time. So when I bought a guitar, like I was like, I went and tried to buy the same stuff he had. And yeah. I just watched him play pretty much, you know, growing up. So he's a big influence on me and why I play guitar, how I play guitar. So, you know, when, when we figured this might be the last record, I was like, well, I got to have him on it. You know, like I got to have some, some thing of Deftones on there because they've been such a huge part of my life and the reason that we exist really. So it was just a no brainer to call Stefan up and say, Hey man, would you want to do a song with us on the new record? And he was totally stoked on it. You know, he was like, yeah, I'll do it. So, yeah. you know, he sent me a song and I just, re- I kind of built it. What he sent me was like an eight minute kind of song, kind of in riffs. Yeah. Um, but it was a song structure, but it was kind of, you know, he, he kind of let it me do what I want with it. Mm-hmm. So I cut it up and I added my parts to it and it came out awesome, you know, and, and we were afraid because that was the first song we wrote for the record. Oh, yeah. And I was like, uh oh, well, this is going to be, how are we going to keep up with this one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We can't we can't like fall short of this song. So, um, but but we I mean we did it. We 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 came through. But but yeah, it turned out awesome, and it was fun to just actually do something with him. Finally, it's been well overdue, I think. Yeah, and the and your newest single is Winds of Change, and that one, uh-huh. it you know, speaking of just the, those two that you have out, you know, you can hear the the Dev Tones influence or you know kind of on El So and the Winds of Change a little bit more, you know, traditional Willhaven. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I'm oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Oh no, I was just gonna say, you know, it's I mean, people we always get compared to Deftones and stuff, and and I get it, you know, I we try to go our own route a little bit, you know, we don't try to sound like them. I mean, you can't. There's impossible to sound like Chino anyway. He's one of a kind. But, yeah. You know, um, we but at the same time we, that's kind of the what I say is a lot of people don't know we're from the same town. You know, we grew up together. A lot of people just assume that we want to be like them, but it just it's in our DNA, like we grew up with those guys we grew up with far so i mean in a roundabout way us three bands do sound similar even though we kind of trying to do our own thing like it just it's just one of those things where we're gonna sound like each other no matter what we do because we all grew up listening to the same music did the same things you know we all hung around each other it's like yeah you know we're basically influenced by everything around us you know and that's just how what happened that's how it came out i don't think we tried to sound like them or you know deftones tried to sound like far or vice versa we just it's just that Sacramento sound, and that's just how it is, you know. And there's a bunch of bands that came out from this town that kind of have that similar sound, but they, you know, they try to do their own thing. They don't try to blatantly rip another band off, but it just, right. it's just in our water here. It's just, and we we can't escape it, you know. Right. <laughs> that's just how it is. <laughs> so I I had did look up a few reviews, uh, you know, other than listening to those two singles that you got, and and so far, I mean, everything's been positive reviews. I mean. When y'all were mixing it, mastering this, did y'all expect that? That y- you knew that this album was going to be killer? Uh, yeah, you, I mean, you can always think that. You just don't know. You know, it's like, especially with a band like us, we're so, like you said, we're out of the box. You know, like mm-hmm. a lot of people, you know, either love it or they just don't get it or they just like whatever, you know, just noise. So for me personally, being, you know, being in the band, I knew this was a huge progression from what we've done in the past. Yeah. Um, for me, I was blown away by it. It's like, whoa, I didn't expect this out of us, you know, because it was just the four of us and really the three of us in the, in the rehearsal spot, you know, making all this noise. I'm like, wow, that, that doesn't sound like three people. You know, yeah. it sounds like a, sounds like an orchestra back there. So that kind of tripped me out. But we knew going into the studio that we had something pretty cool um, for, you know, and we were just totally happy with it. And we, we were excited to go in there and see what it would sound like to actually record it instead of just banging out in our practice room. So... Um, but when we were finished, I'm like, wow, this is, I was, I, to me, I like, this is an, an amazing record. If I was a fan, well, I'm actually, you know, a fan of this music yeah. style anyway. So for me, if I, if I wasn't in the band, I would love this record. Yeah. So I had to step out a little bit and look at it on the outside. Like, wow, personally, I would love it, but I know a lot of people won't probably get it. Um, we've had a few reviews where they don't get it. You know, I don't think they know the history of the band or they just don't right. know where we come from or our sound. So you know, they always have good words, but, you know, it might be like a 6 out of 10. I'm like, wow, what do you have to do to, you know, get, the, get a good grade here? It's like, right, we okay. pretty much, 
we push the envelope as far as we can and people still don't get it so yeah but i, I understand i mean it's not for everybody yeah. i mean there's people that love where you had an okay computer and then people think it's garbage you know so yeah whatever people yeah you can't please everybody exactly people have their opinions but i but but uh means the most to me is William and fans they for the the positive reaction I've got from our William fans have been amazing. They've been yeah. totally stoked on the two singles and stuff. So that's yeah. really all I care. I really care about you know. Cause you kind of got to know the band to, to really understand it anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've listened to those you know singles quite a, quite a few times and they're, and they're pretty kick ass, man. Uh, it's, yeah, a, it's, I, it's 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 a it's a movement forward in a, in a good way. Yeah, and that, that's what I love about it too because I listen to this record. I mean, over and over and over again, and not to critique it, but just to enjoy it. So yeah. that's a first for me because usually I'll listen to our records and critique it. I'm like, oh, that's, I should have done this, I should have done that. But now I listen to it, and I listen to this record as a fan. Like I'm like, wow, I don't even. I kind of put myself out of the band, and I just enjoy the record on its own. So I guess that's, it's it's pretty killer all the way through. Though not just the two singles you heard, the whole record is yeah. good. So yeah, I'm stoked on it. And yeah, I can't wait for the release. So uh, you you actually have a few shows coming up, right? Can you tell us about that? Yeah, we have, uh, well, it's pretty cool. We actually lined it up to where we can play uh, our hometown uh, next Friday when the record comes out, the day the record comes out. So nice. it's like a, a record release show on the day it's out, which we've never done before. So we're yeah. pretty excited about that, um, That's and that should be really fun. And then, yeah, we're doing a few shows on the West Coast, L.A., San Diego, San Francisco, um, and then uh, that's in May, and then we're heading up to Seattle and Portland in June. And then we're talking right now about getting over to England and Europe in September, October, sometime around there. Yeah. Um, that, that's all we have planned. Like, I, we don't know because this band's always been just kind of low key, and you know, we're not we're not Deftones. You know, we're yeah. just a little local band. So for us, we just kind of take it day by day and see what happens. If the record does really well and people want to see us live, we'll try to make it happen. But if you know, if it's just kind of status quo, then we'll just play whenever we want to play and yeah. just have a good time. And that's it, really. So. Yeah. So I mean, from what I've seen on your your live shows, you all are very very energetic on stage. I mean, uh, how the hell do y'all prepare for that, man? <laughs> Every night, you. Know? It's funny you say that because you know, now that I'm getting older, and we played in San Francisco a couple months ago, and that was the first show we played in two and a half years. And the next day, like I couldn't move my neck. <laughs> I think I, I, I caught a cold like the day of the show, and like, I was sick for like the next two weeks. Oh, <laughs> <man>. <laughs> I'm just not ready for it. So now, like I've been like eating really healthy and, and lifting, you know, weights and stuff, and doing my push-ups and yeah. just getting ready for the show because it's 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 one of those things. Like you will go on stage, and, and for a band like us, like we don't really. It's none of our stuff's choreographed. It's like we don't. I can go on stage and say I'm not moving at all tonight. Yeah. But something about our music, like I just can't control it. Like it just moves me. You know, even at practice, I'll find myself like kind of bending in half. I'm like, what am I doing in practice? Like, <laughs> just, but that's what I wanted this band to be. Like I wanted this band to be like a, an emotional thing, like where you just can't sit yeah. still. You know, something just triggers it. So. I mean, if I'm doing that practice, then hopefully the audience feels the same way. So. Yeah, and the, but yeah, and, it gets it gets pretty brutal though, for sure. Yeah, and that's a great thing because uh, you know, for fans and as a fan, that's kind of that that outlet that you want. I mean, going to a show and listening to music like you know what y'all produce, it's it's uh, kind of uh, like bursting that bubble of all that tension you've had for whatever x amount of time, and, and you're able to enjoy yourself. And let go of all those feelings and get you know, get crazy like you know as chaotic as the, as the music is. Yeah, you want it to be an experience. You want to be moved. You know, like when I I remember the shows that I saw. Like I saw Pete Floyd in nineteen ninety. God, was it? Uh, must have been like eighty nine or something on the Montreal Last Reason Tour, and I was like blown away. And not just they didn't move. You know, they're yeah. standing still. But the show and the songs and how tight they were and like the atmosphere. I was like, I walked out of that going, oh my god, like. That was the most amazing thing I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. You know, and then I, and I saw Faith No More and the Angel Dust tour, and like, oh my I gosh. was just blown away by it. I'm like, oh my God. Like, so it wasn't so much they were dancing around and stuff, it was yeah. like the whole atmosphere of it, and it just moved me, like, to work. I remember every single note of those shows, like, to yeah. a T, just because I was just so enthralled by it. So, yeah, I want I want our shows to kind of be that way, you know, yeah. just like feel the energy and feel the vibe and feel like come out of it going, wow, I, that was insane. You know, I remember everything about that show, you know? Yeah. So uh, we're almost at the end here. Where can people find you online? Uh, and is there pre-ordered links for anybody that hasn't gotten this yet? Yeah, so uh, we have a Facebook page, of course, uh, Will Haven. Um, you 
type in William Facebook, and we have it on Facebook page. Uh, the record will be available on it's on iTunes right now, pre-order. Um, there's Bandcamp. You can pre-order on Bandcamp. Um, also, we have a Pledge Music site. Um, that you can pre-order the record, but there's also a lot of cool, um, rare stuff down there. there. There's signed lyric sheets from Grady on there with the record. There's, you know, there's some guitar pedal, custom guitar pedals and bass pedals, yeah. uh, signed drum heads and stuff like that. So there's a bunch of cool stuff on Ple- Pledge Music, um, pretty rare kinds, uh, one of kind things on there. Yeah. And then of course it'll be on nowadays all the nowadays you know streaming sites. It'll right. be on Spotify and all that stuff. So you'll be able to find it for sure, but. Yeah. You know, for, for a broke band like us, if you buy it, we'll even be happier. So, <laughs> of course. <laughs> so, uh, any last part? And yeah, I'm sorry, any last parting words, Jeff? Uh, I just want to say, you know, thank you to everybody who, who's who been there for us. You know, like, I mean, it's it's cool because we've been gone for quite a while. So, to come back and have people still interested and still care, I think that means the world to us because as much as we love playing music, we also want to share our music with as many people as we can, too. So, you know, I just want to thank everybody and, and for reaching out and, you know, like interviews like you and stuff, it means a lot because, you know, we just sit in our little park spot and held up in Sacramento and don't think the world even knows who we are. So when we come out, people will, you know, want to talk to us. We get pretty stoked on that. So. Yeah, it's going to be pretty exciting. I'm sure I'm, I'm sure there's kind of a static in the air just waiting for that release. You know, I, I'm, I'm sure fans are going to be stoked and happy about this coming out. Hopefully, yeah, I think our fans will be, you know, I just hope people that, you know, this this world's so crazy now with, you know, the internet and all these other side attractions that people have that, you know, I hope it's not a flash in the pan. I hope people will actually enjoy it. Let's yeah. do it. Yeah. Well, you know, it's, kind of gravitate to it, so. yeah, I think it will because it's, it's different, you know, it, for, even for newer fans, they're going to listen to this and say, wow, this isn't like everything else that's on the radio. Yeah. Yeah, and that's kind of what, that's kind of what we were going for. So if that if that happens to be that, then we'll be completely happy. So yeah, and and I'm glad that it's it's you know it seems like it's going to be that because the stuff on the radio is just it seems like it's the same thing. You can't distinguish the bands. Yeah, and that's for me as a metal fan. Like you know, I grew up in the '90s with where metal was probably a, you know probably at its best. You yeah, know? Um, and it was full of heart and emotion. There was so many different bands. It didn't sound like anybody else. And right. There was so much stuff to draw inspiration from. And now it's like I can't go. I can't listen to any bands nowadays and get any inspiration from. Them. Like it just sounds like everybody else. You know. So right. I still go back to my '90s bands and listen to those to get my inspiration. So oh, of course. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully a band like us can kind of you know break that mold a little bit so where people kind of get back into that. Yeah. That, dynamic of being you know just straight real and from the heart and just trying to blow people away than trying to be all technical you know yeah well i hope so well jeff yeah, I, me too. <laughs> jeff i appreciate your time to uh, you know taking out the, to be able to talk to me and i wish you the best and i'm sure uh hopefully everybody picks out your new album on the 23rd yeah Sam, appreciate it thank you so much i definitely uh, appreciate it and hope to talk to you again soon all right th- thanks take care all right you too bye bye